So every year, Rob's Home Bar, 60 Second Cocktails, and Booze on the Rocks offer up this wonderful challenge to get the YouTube community involved in making the best Christmas martinis. This year's hashtag is hashtag Christmas Martini 2022. Um, got to be in a martini glass, got to be festive, and got to have a uh, festive garnish. Let's do it. I'm your drinking buddy. Um, today I'm doing a riff on the Cosmo Knot. Um, so we're going to begin by throwing in two ounces of whiskey here. The traditional recipe would be gin. Um, I guess the and the idea behind this is the bartender that used to make Cosmos was tired of making Cosmos. So he made a recipe called the Cosmo Knot, which is not a Cosmo. Um, his recipe is gin and then lemon juice. We're going to do uh, apple cider. So we're going to go three quarters of an ounce of apple cider. And I do feel a little bad that I am also going to be using um, cranberry sauce like Dave from Booze on the Rocks did. But I got the idea before I watched his video, so it's not a ripoff. I'm going to do a little tiny bit of this uh, gold luster dust. See how that makes it look a little bit more festive. Uh, if you don't have that at home, you can leave it out. It's only going to make it look a little bit more festive, so it's not going to add anything to the flavor. And you don't have to use Knob Creek Rye. You could probably use any whiskey and it would be okay. I like to use rye in cocktails. Um, the more I make cocktails with whiskey, the more I realize rye is probably the way to go. Bourbon's better sipped to me. And we're gonna go three bar spoons of cranberry sauce. The original recipe of the Cosmonaut is three bar spoons of raspberry preserves. That's probably went slightly over three bar spoons. All right, we're going to shake this. Now, drinking buddies, you probably, if you're making this at home, are going to want to double strain it. I kind of want those chunks of cranberry in here, so I'm going to go ahead and not double strain it. But if you're playing along at home, you might want to double strain it. And for a garnish here, I have a little present. Um, it's very festive. It does nothing for the cocktail, which is not generally my thing. Um, but it looks cool. Um, and boy, I hope you can see how much this is shimmering in the light. Because it's so shimmery and awesome. I love it. It looks beautiful. If you were to double strain it, that, that shimmering quality would probably be even stronger. You know, I forget how much I like cocktails because I pretty much only drink bourbon meat, but then you make a cocktail like this and you remember, oh yeah, I love cocktails. This is so good. <laughs> this is so good. Um, Tons of maple, uh, tons of cranberry, um, the bourbon flavors that are coming, uh, not bourbon, the rye flavors that are coming to the forefront are really just helping to complement those two. They're not taking over at all. Uh, Christmas Martini 2022 challenge. Feel free to enter your own entry. Even if you don't have a YouTube, create one just for this. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.